pray as we are going to give the brief i pray that you are going to back our words in the mighty name of jesus i pray and believe amen amen, amen. amen. thank you thank you thank you joy and thank you pastor pastor collins i hear a lot of silence <laughs> uh please relax remember i used those words on saturday it's time for us to relax as a nation even as we embark on some very important national duties and obligations this is therefore my personal statement uh based on the nasa deal between and i'm just quoting it as it was written it does therefore doesn't mean i do not regard my brother as officially and uh, commonly referred to but this is between mr raila amolo odinga and mr steven kalonzo musyoka dated the 30th april 2017 Ladies and gentlemen as we begin the fresh round of political negotiation in our country leading to the August 2022 general election I've been compelled to release the above document in order to answer in part some of the criticism that has been leveled against me to wit and I quote the indecisive king maker end of quote and the often quoted statement made before the ntv reporter that believe us my son kennedy to the effect that i would be a fool to support on boraila odinga a third time without a measure of reciprocity in releasing this document it is imperative to mention that I've tried it twice to have professor Makao Mutua convene a meeting between me and my brother on the Boraila Odinga in his capacity as the depository of this most important document on his part professor Makao stands in breach of his obligation under the agreement since he has already joined on a Boraila Odinga's campaign team by accepting nomination of the Orange Democratic Movement to run as president for the fifth time <coughs> i believe my brother Raila Odinga has committed an irreparable material breach of this agreement now that's a legal term defined i quote irreparable material breach shall mean a repudiation reneging a violation or an an ouster in any way of any of the articles of the agreement attending the odm delegates conference at which my brother was named a presidential flag bearer would have meant on my part a quiescence of the impugned breach I wish therefore to state as follows My brother as the option of abiding by the terms of this live legal agreement live binding legal agreement and thereby emerging in my view as a true national regional and indeed continental democratic hero all yes option of choosing to act in utter defiance and repudiation of the agreement and thereby compounding the trust deficit in both cases honorable raila odinga remains a brother with whom i've labored in absolute good faith to bring true democratic change to our country as already publicly expressed i'm ready to work with him again under the three pillar grand coalition government 
for the sake of our nation. I urge that we engage in fresh negotiations. I urge that as we engage in fresh negotiations, this document forms the basis of such negotiation. I want to give you just a copy and actually spread. I will um, I'll distribute the copies of the agreement. But I just want to highlight one or two small paragraphs in it. Uh, it's actually entitled the NASA deal. And uh, by its nature, this document was a secret document. But it starts by saying this memorandum is a binding legal agreement between the parties. And the parties have been explained. And uh, I've highlighted the paragraph which reads, the commitments made herein shall bind Principal H, read Raila, and Principal Q, read Kalonzo Musioka, in both the 2017 and 2022 elections. By this agreement, the parties agree that Principal H will be NASA's presidential nominee and that Principal Q will be his running mate. And then, most importantly, this agreement will remain valid until the 2022 elections, whether or not NASA wins the 2017 uh, presidential elections. Please underline the words whether or not we won the elections. And on the Articles of Agreement, I highlight, I highlight Principle 2. Principle H agrees in a public MOU to serve one term and publicly endorse Principle Q as a presidential candidate for 2022. Therefore, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody has had any difficulty whatsoever with my sense of negotiation <laughs> and uh, my ability to play it straight and candidly, I hope today I've acquitted myself. I see the very nice headline, headlines today in the media, the tension, there's tension between me and my brother. I want to tell you there's none. And... Uh, in effect, some of you say, I, I ask His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta to take leadership of the current round of negotiations. I think it's right and proper, considering he has a sense of authority, he's a sitting head of state, um, and whether some of you want to refer to him as an outgoing president, in my view, they are out, uh, the presidents who have been outgone in our region and still hold great sway, not only in their countries, but in the countries of the African region. That is why somebody like President Obasanjo, my friend President Kikwete, who is actually in town, and others continue to be revered heads of state. I see President Uhuru Kenyatta playing, playing that role into the future. But I want to urge that it plays even presently. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was my personal statement. Um, as you can see, I don't even know where these uh, Washmiwas have come from. Somebody must have sent. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody must have sent uh, a tweet or something, a hashtag personal statement, uh, and then people felt, yeah, the true volcano is here, and indeed it is. Everything is discussable, everything is on the table, and what I've just given you today will form the basis of future negotiations. Yes. Yes, Justice. Kwanza nyindu meandika leo headline. 
tension. Once I tell your pension, once I punguza your pressure. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you want to talk about it. Ne ne reduce tension in addition. Nam. Yes. Oh, tomorrow I'm not attending. Attending for sure. I have read about it in the media, because that is straight one. Okay, and and we will attend once everybody is at peace and at liberty. We can't re repeat the mistakes of the past. One time this happened in a uh, uh, famous grounds called uh, Hadija Gardens. You know, when a pata watu ame wameji pamba ki viao, kama katule, the celebrated instrument was a hammer, which was a very ugly American car in my view. Lakini sasa watu wa Kenya wakauna hammer ni nyundo. I remember asking my people, our friends, because we are all in ODM Kenya, Tuliwacha lini wakati wa mambo ya machungwa sasa inabeba nyundo. We don't want that kind of crowd effect. This country is more important than a group that gets together, psychs each other to the detriment of the greater good of this nation. So, I'm not attending Nakuru, but that doesn't mean I will not attend. Once we are all in agreement, we shall move. Now, what was your first question? Now, NASA, this has nothing to do with the NASA coalition deal. This was separately negotiated. All right? That's why actually <laughs> I pity my friends who left me for Kenya Kwanza. Yeah? Uh, Madivi D and Weta. They, they told me in 2017, you as is running mate, whatever mutakubaliana ni yenu. So I went ahead and negotiated this very important legal binding document. So when I saw Weta getting thrown out as the minority deputy, what a minority leader in the Senate, and then he said that these things would be nasty, <laughs> what is it? Messy. The divorce would be nasty, nasty, messy. I, I could understand. I, these are my friends. I, I truly miss them. Another question? What options? I don't know what options. You want me to put all my cards on the table? Ah, bana. Listen, you're looking at a very tough negotiator. And this is what Kenyans, by the way, you people in the media help me. When you insist on your strict legal rights, nobody should say indecisive. And you know, please take it from me, I'm involved in saving lives in the region by way of having heads of state negotiate positions. On Thursday, I'm joining President Museveni. That is day after tomorrow. In Entebbe to try and see whether we can help our brother still in, 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 uh, in Sudan, at least to come up with one army, national army. But if you hear them uh, debating on whether SPLM IO, which is in opposition, SPLM in opposition, or whether it is SPLM IG in government, because of them are holding to the sanctity of the name SPLM, one says, no, no, no. I owe, you get 40%. And uh, IG says, no, we're in government, we must get 50%. And over that, people went through the cantonment processes, uh, have not even been able to graduate. So this is why, these are important matters. If we just throw in the towel and play to the frenzy, celebrate greatness again, I, uh, that's why I actually remember I said going to Sekuru was an option. But I would want Kenyans to know why, if I choose to say Kuru, why is that an option? And I want, therefore, to invite serious Kenyans who care about this nation to join me. Otherwise, mutakuwa nyenye yote mwanaweza kufurugwa, kumaliza inchi, na kutokuwa na amani. Lakini mungu akopamoja nasa. The question he asked about the NASA deal, NASA having been dissolved. Yes. Of course that is dissolved. NASA is dead. That's why I'm saying my statement, it, is, it was unfortunate. It's not binding. And this is not, the fact is a NASA deal. NASA deal is because of that time. And please remember this particular one has, not, has no reference to the main NASA deal. I see your point. I actually see your point now, the reference to NASA deal. And NASA, of course, is dead. But this is a matter between two principles, principle Q and principle H. But based on the timing. Yeah. 
Uh, why, why do you want to answer all the questions? First of all, read the document. <laughs> okay. My friends in NASA are very well briefed that I'm issuing this pass. I'm sorry, OCA. My principal, uh, my fellow principals in OCA are very well briefed that I'm issuing this personal statement. I had to explain it to them. It was important for me to explain to them. This has nothing to do with, uh, with what we are doing in, in OCA, or indeed with the frame, within the framework of uh, Azumio OCA. An advantage. I don't think those friends and sisters have any problem with giving me an advantage. <laughs> I don't think so, quite frankly. I think that is enough. Yes, one last one. No, no, well, then we'll take you and uh, the last one. No. I want a cup of tea. Yeah, Kate, wonderful. As a meal. I'm not as a meal. Yes. I think that is a point for I don't want to involve in a matrix calculation and whatever. For now we are dealing with a, a factual situation. Again, we'll cross, we may cross a bridge if we have to come to it. Yes, sir? Kera? Umekereka? Oh, Sincera. Oh, I remember Sincera. Lipi. Hili ambalo limetukosanyishi hapa, eh? Lenyewe linauzito. Nakubaliana kabisa. Hey. 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 Mimi ni kuwa tayari asanda sana sezero kwa hilo swali. Unakumbuka eh, sujini watu wa social media mawatu ambao last Sunday tukiwa Mombasa walisema nimefanya mashauri Naraila for two hours, tamarin. It was not correct. It was actually not a correct thing. But we met over breakfast. Na, we kampata pale Raila kwa shima. Hey, Steve, guess who is on the phone? And I looked at it. It was Professor Makau Mutua. All right? That name, please underline that name. You may want to underline another name called Professor Kivuda Kibwana. At the time we signed this document, Kivuda Kibwana was a chair of WIPA. And uh, I had to bring him in to witness. Okay? So that name is also important. Because a lot of people are going to have to answer integrity questions. So, tulikuwa tumakubaliana na Raila kwamba makawa convened last Thursday. And the intention was, yeah, yeah, lete, Ingawaji already is acted in breach. All right? Alitangaza kwa azumeo rally in Kasarani kwamba hea na muunga mkono rafkiangu Raila. Kwa dati. Kwa hivyo karibu msimamo kulingana na document yenyewe. La hata hivyo ni ndugu yetu I was ready to meet up I told him ready Thursday I've been waiting I waited the whole Thursday there was no call from Makao Motoa. So and time is of the essence. Kwa hivyo mimi niko tayari hata sasa ndugu Raila akisema eh hey, nimeona sasa ndugu vile umesema tukutane tujadiliane. Kwa hivyo naona, the, the spirit of this communication is a very open spirit. But one that is accompanied by a serious sense of nationhood. The question we ask ourselves is, as leaders, can we be held to account on what we affix our signatures to? Because I can tell you the next round of negotiation will be very tough for me. Uh, and because I don't want it to be seen as Kalonzo Musioka and Ajitaftia. No. It is 
the party that I belong to, the political formation that I belong to, the next round we'll have to look at that matrix. I like the idea of a matrix. We'll have to look at the budget, the budget for this country. What is in it for the common person? And it to be made public from day one. Absolutely public. Yeah? And th this is my commitment. Others will not be party to something more secret dealings, not me. Yes, the last one, and then we are off. Yes, sir. Maraba. Maraba, Mwanangu. Watoka wapi? Weru. I've heard of Weru. Ah, ah, tafadhali. Usinipeleke yo root. Tafadhali. Yo root, yu weka weka yo. Yo ni league. I don't know what league you're talking about. Yo, watch it. Yeah. No, by the way, we must now conclude. Eh? Yeah. Ramog, you're absolutely the last one. And by the way, you're doing it the third time. Now, we can work on linkages in Kwanzaa. And in December, what was it? What was it? That was a Buya. Yeah, it was a Buya. It was a Buya. Yeah. Yeah. I, I apologize. But you remember what I said from this podium? Kenya Kwisha. So, Kenya Kwanzaa. Yes. Fair enough, it is within his rights. It is within his right to decline. Absolutely. No house bad here. By the way, this morning I was thinking of uh, uh, Connery, uh, Kenny Rogers' composition, The Coward of a County. Yeah? Think of all those words. Yeah, and you come up with the no holds bad. Wakata wa vijana wali muingilia Betty, Becky. He didn't leave any of them standing. Yeah. So, I, I, I think we have duty to do, to save this nation, to make it greater, and this is a season to do so. One miss step, I don't want to be held accountable. That why did you not say, why did you not tell the country? Gentlemen, you have a lot to chew. God bless you. <laughs> to Apostle Cal Collins, to rep representing the church. Because the church is the conscience of the nation. So that this I intend to, I, I ask the Kenyans engage in a very honest conversation about this document. In fact, this is my contribution to intensifying our democratic practice. So that leaders going forward will not want to uh, cut corners where it is clear what they should do with regard to the commitments. We do this not, not not because I want anything personal or that I'm seeking public sympathy. Far from it. Far from it. I just want Kenyans to have a very honest conversation about this matter. So Apostle Collins, I'll give you a copy on behalf of the church. And I ask the church takes a role. Even when leaders, when leaders sit <laughs> between themselves, I think they need people to pray for them. I'm very prayerful, but I think I need help. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, the matter is so clear. Um, I, I still insist that we are prepared to proceed on the basis of um, a three-legged stool, the grand coalition approach, and uh, we therefore wish Kenyans all the very best. As we get into this season, we should get into this season with a full confidence that this is a nation under God. And leaders should continue, when they issue commitments to each other, they should endeavor to honor them. Yes, madam. Eri? Mwangi. I hear Mwangi, the first one I didn't. Never mind. I, I just say that uh, because of making this public, and the person who should have made it public is in breach himself, okay? I say that this document, in my view, should form the basis of honest conversation. Well, that would be the, another story. We tell Kenyans, they refuse. Fine, and we move on. But my commitment to move 
on the basis of the, of the grand coalition, three pillar base, is, is a consultative thing. I had full consultations as party leader of WIPA with my team. Some differed, some didn't. The majority view was, let's proceed. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, when you spoke at the TDD and the KICD, you spoke about the new one came alliance. Had you considered the fact that there was a pending issue in the market deal while making that comment, or was it just also just the mood of the day? No, not the mood of the day. In fact, I was not the only one who spoke about Azmio Nasa. No, not Azmio Nasa. Azmio Oka. I was waiting for you to correct me. The president himself, actually, yeah, in a very dramatic manner, said that we now have two presidential candidates. That the Honorable Raila Odinga has been proposed by ODM, wipe on their part, has also, also uh, uh, given a name of a presidential candidate. And um, therefore, these two gentlemen will meet at some point. And whoever emerges as a flag bearer, of Azimio Oka Grand Coalition will receive everybody's support. The president himself was more vocal on that subject than I was. And therefore it was fully consultative. So nobody should ever try to talk about any other leg <laughs> because these legs have been agreed. Oh, another mum? NTV, yes. Oh, that was meant for yesterday. No, no, no. Nobody talked about new members. I think the statement just simply said that we are postponing the signing, maybe to tomorrow. There are still nitty-gritties that need to be agreed on the wording and the what, but we are all committed to signing, for sure, uh, um, as, as an entity. Why don't you ask Moses Kuria that question? I can't answer on his behalf. <laughs> be fair. <laughs> Just be fair. I'm sure he's able to answer for himself. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, Dave. You work with? Jeff Cruz. Katie. Katie. Okay. Very good question, Dave. But when we were at um, the NDC, Jubilee's NDC, uh, I remember before I arrived, arrived at before I arrived at KICC, uh, there was a 411 alert saying that uh, Raila was on his way from Kasarani uh, to KICC, expecting endorsement. Now. My brother Uru Kenyatta, in his personal capacity, can endorse. But wouldn't you think the most important endorsement would have been that of the delegates' conference? Just like Raila was endorsed by ODM, and I was endorsed by WIPA, okay? But Jubilee did not endorse any candidate. If anything, they said, our doom were willy, were song and belly. One of them will emerge as a presidential candidate. So the position I take is that of the party. But President Uru Kenyatta is within his rights to support. But I'm, of course, I don't know why you say I rely. It's, it's not, I think you overdo it, Dave, that I'm over relying. I'm not over relying. we just negotiating going forward. And I'm quite sure President Uru will also be at liberty to change his mind. Please. Because you've been conspiring quietly. <laughs> <laughs> I've done from KBC, yes. yes. Um, the question being, because the president, you, you've said and you've suggested that the president takes charge of the negotiation. Well, suggested takes charge. I'm just um, suggesting, by the way, it's not, it's not mandatory. In fact, let me be frank with you, my friend from KBC. If we were to follow the letter and spirit of the document I've just circulated, there's no need for mediation. It's not a mediation process. 
It is just a simple matter, and I've given the two options. Yeah, my friend has the option to abide by his own signed commitment, or he says no, and then enhance what I call a trust deficit. Yes, I think we we'll take more and we we'll finish before you die, because you need time to digest what I've just circulated. It is very important for us, for this country, even for future generations. Yes. Hata hiyo shida yenyewe mwenyewe uko nayo. Hata hata tafsiri yenyewe uko na shida nayo. Kwa sababu sikusema sitafanya kazi. Hiyo hiyo ni yako kabisa. I said the opposite. Bali na yote hayo, bali na yote hayo kutokubaliana, kutofanya lolote eh uh, watu kuchukua msimamo tofauti na yale ambayo yamekadiriwa yale wenyewe wameweka sahihi na sijui kama kuna mtu bado amefanya hivyo lakini mieleza kabisa the legal position kwamba ingawaje yote hayo pengine waende yakafanyika lakini tumetangaza wazi kwamba tuko tayari kufanya kazi na jina lenyewe limebainika wazi azimio oka grand coalition sasa hayo yako umeyatoa wapi rafiki yangu umepata wapi hiyo? Nauliza. Au oh, mnaniuliza kama imepata mwaliko? No. Sijapata. Na kama huko in writing nipatie. Sijaona. From now on this is good. I think I like that. Kwa hivyo tuache maneno ya unajua wa Kenya wako na panza social media na washukuru sana. Wanatoa maajabu. Umeisikia wengine wanasema Kalonzo atakuwa hiki, wengine ata maajabu. Speculation. But that is it. We must celebrate social media. My I want my daughter there to ask a question. Liz, is it? Liz. Yeah. <coughs> Naam. Tutavuka daraja hiyo tukifika tukifika. Eh. Hey. Irreducible minimums. Pia tutavuka daraja hiyo tukifika. Unaweza mazungumza yameanza. Mazungumzo yameanza. Sasa irreducible minimum soma soma hiyo. Soma hiyo Uh, document ambayo nimekupatia utapata kwamba irreducible minimum ni kwamba my brother Raila Odinga by honoring this document will pronounce his brother the flag bearer for Azimio Oka ah sije kusikia hapo lizi No. I've not said any of that. I've said uh, uh I've said everything is discussable, everything is on the table and what I've just given you today will form the basis of future negotiations. Yes. Yes, justice. Kwanza nyinyi ndio meandika leo headline tension. Basi atoa hiyo pension. Kwanza punguza hiyo pressure. <laughs> no, I'm not saying unatoa barakoa. <laughs> ne ne reduce tension in addition. <laughs> Nam. Uh, yes. Oh, tomorrow I'm not attending, attending for sure. I have read about it in the media because that it's straight one. Okay? And and we will attend once everybody is at peace and that liberty we can't re repeat the mistakes of the past one time this happened in a uh, uh, famous grounds called uh, hadija gardens you know unapata watu wame wamejipamba kivyao eh kama wakati ule the celebrating instrument was a hammer which was a very ugly american car in my view lakini sasa watu wa kenya wakaona hammer ni nyundo i remember asking my people our friends because we are all in odm kenya tuliwacha lini wakati wa mambo ya machungwa sasa inabeba nyundo we don't want that kind of crowd effect this country is more important than a group that gets together psychs each other to the detriment of the greater good of this nation 
So, I'm not attending Nakuru, but that doesn't mean I will not attend. Once we are all in agreement, we shall move. Now, what was your first question? Now, NASA, this has nothing to do with the NASA coalition deal. This was separately negotiated. All right? And that's why, actually, <laughs> I pity my friends who left me for Kenya Kwanza. Yeah? Uh, my DVD and Weta. They, they told me in 2017, you as his running mate, whatever mutakubaliana ni yenu. So I went ahead and negotiated this very important legal binding document. So when I saw Weta getting thrown out as the minority deputy, what a minority leader in the Senate, and then he said that these things will be nasty. <laughs> what is it? Messy. The divorce will be nasty, nasty, messy. I, I could understand. I, these are my friends. I, I truly miss them. Another question? What options? I don't know what options. You want me to put all my cards on the table? Ah, bana. Listen. You are looking at a very tough negotiator. And this is what Kenyans, by the way, you people in the media help me. When you insist on your strict legal rights, nobody should say indecisive. And you know, please take it from me, I'm involved in saving lives in the region by way of having heads of state negotiate positions. On Thursday, I'm joining President Museveni, that is day after tomorrow, in Entebbe, to try and see whether we can help our brother still in, 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 uh, in Sudan at least to come up with one army, national army. But if you hear them uh, debating on whether SPLM IO, which is in opposition, SPLM in opposition, or whether it is SPLM IG in government, because of them are holding to the sanctity of the name SPLM, one says, no, 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 IO, you get 40%. And uh, IG says, no, we're in government, we must get 50%. And over that, people went through the cantonment processes, uh, have not even been able to graduate. So this is why these are important matters. If we just throw in the towel and play to the frenzy, celebrate greatness again, I, uh, that's why I actually remember I said going to Sekuru was an option. But I would want Kenyans to know why if I choose to Sekuru. Why is that an option? And I want, therefore, to invite serious Kenyans who care about this nation to join me. Otherwise, mutakuwa nyenye yote mwanaweza kufurugwa, kumaliza inchi, na kutokuwa na amani. Lakini mungu akopamoja nasa. Yes. Of course, that is dissolved. NASA is dead. That's why I'm saying my statement, it, is, it was unfortunate. It's not binding. And this is not... The fact is a NASA deal, NASA deal is because of that time. And please remember this particular one has, not, has no reference to the main NASA deal. I see your point. I actually see your point now, the reference to NASA deal. Uh, and NASA, of course, is dead. But this is a matter between two principles, principle Q and principle H. But based on the timing. Yeah. Uh, why, why do you want to answer all the questions? First of all, read the document. <laughs> Okay. My friends in NASA are very well briefed that I'm issuing this pass. I'm sorry. OCA. My principal, uh, my fellow principals in OCA are very well briefed that I'm issuing this personal statement. I had to explain it to them. It was important for me to explain to them. This has nothing to do with, uh, with what we are doing in, in Oka, or indeed with the frame, within the framework of uh, Azimio Oka. An advantage. I don't think those friends and sisters have any problem with giving me advantage. <laughs> I don't think so, quite frankly. I think that is enough. Yes. One last one. No, no. Well, then we'll take you and uh, the last one. No. I want a cup of tea. Yeah, K24. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
as a meal. I'm not as a meal. <laughs> yes. I think that is a point for, I don't want to involve in a matrix calculation and whatever. For now we are dealing with a, a factual situation. Again, we'll cross, we may cross a bridge if we have to come to it. Yes, sir. Kera. Umekereka. Oh, Sitsera. Oh, I remember Sitsera. Lippi. Hili ambalo limetukosanyishi hapa, eh? Lenyewe lina uzito. Na kubaliana kabisa. Eh. Naam. Eh. Eh. Mimi nilikuwa tayari asante sana Cesar kwa hilo swali. Unakumbuka E, Siji ni watu wa social media mawatu ambao last Sunday tukiwa Mombasa walisema nimefanya mashauri na Raila for two hours tamarin. It was not correct. It was actually not a correct thing. But we met over breakfast na nikampata pale Raila kwa simu asema, hey Steve, guess who is on the phone? And I looked at it, it was Professor Makau Mutua. Alright? That name, please underline that name. You may want to underline another name called Professor Kivutha Kibwana. At the time we signed this document, Kivutha Kibwana was a chair of WIPA. And uh, I had to bring him in to witness. Okay? So that name is also important. Because a lot of people are going to have to answer integrity questions. So, tulikuwa tumekubaliana na Raila kwamba Makawa convened last Thursday. And the intention was yeye yeah, alete yeah, Ingawaji already is acted in breach, all right? Alitangaza kwa azumeo rally in Kasarani kwamba hea na muunga mkono rafkiangu raila. Kwa dhati, kwa hivu wakaribu msumamu kulingana na document yenyewe. La hata hivyo, ni ndugu yetu, I was ready to meet up, I told him, ready, Thursday, I've been waiting, I waited the whole Thursday, there was no call from Makao Motoa. So, and time is of the essence. Kwa hivyo mimi niko tayari hata sasa ndugu Raila akisema eh hey, nimeona sasa ndugu vile umesema tukutane tujadiliane Kwa hivyo naona the, the spirit of this communication is a very open spirit but one that is accompanied by a serious sense of nationhood The question we ask ourselves is as leaders can we be held to account on what we affix our signatures to because i can tell you the next round of negotiation will be very tough for me uh, and because i don't want it to be seen as kalonzo musyoka and jitaftia no it is the party that i belong to the political formation that i belong to the next round we'll have to look at that matrix i like the idea of the matrix we'll have to look at the budget the budget for this country what is in it for the common person and it to be made public from day one absolutely public yeah and th this is my commitment others are not be party to something more secret dealings not me yes the last one and then we are off yes sir maraba maraba mwanangu mwanangu watoka wapi weru I've heard of Weru. <laughs> ah ah tafadhali. Usinipeleke hiyo route. Tafadhali. Hiyo route uweka weka hiyo. Hiyo ni league. I don't know what league you talking about. Hiyo wacha hiyo. Ah. Yeah. No by the way we must now conclude eh? Yeah. Ramogi you are absolutely the last one. And by the way you're doing it the third time. Na unakana huko na linkages na kwanza. Eh. Alini sema hapa eh Elisema what was it what was it that was a buya
Yeah, it was a booyah. It was a booyah. Yeah. Yeah. I, I apologize. But you remember what I said from this podium? Kenya Kwisha. So Kenya Kwanza. Yes. Fair enough, it is within his rights. It is within his right to decline. Absolutely. No who's bad here. By the way, this morning I was thinking of uh, uh, Conor, uh, Kenny Rogers' composition, The Coward of a County. Yeah? Think of all those words. Yeah, and you come up with the no who's bad. Wakata vijana walimuingilia Betty, Becky. He didn't leave any of them standing. Yeah. So, I, I, I think we have duty to do, to save this nation, to make it greater, and this is a season to do so. One miss step, I don't want to be held accountable. That why did you not say, why did you not tell the country? Gentlemen, you have a lot to chew. God bless you.